who needs a solid and modern European car with a large interior and a hefty trunk, you are here. Chronic sores and bottlenecks of the current wagon product can be bypassed. And you will get the second generation superb for sure cheaper than the same Passat B6, on whose basis, in fact, it is built. In Ukraine, superb joined corporate parks, where representative, dynamic and well-controlled liftbacks with reliable brakes and suspension were willingly employed. Private traders did not lag behind, although the Czech is far from the popularity of the same Camry. One of the most massive we have turned out to be the 1.8 DSi version with automatic transmission. Yes, yes, along with various versions of the DSG, the Ison automatic was also offered. Cars with a 2.0 DDI diesel also sold well. Considering that all engines have problems, including the DSi bouquet and the top 3.6 FSI, mechanics often recommend diesel modifications for buying on the secondary. Especially the 1.9 DDI, which has a more reliable and less expensive fuel system to maintain. In favor of DSi gasoline engines, their efficiency and enviable dynamics speak. Only 1.4 was slightly behind the latter, but it was offered only in the first year of production, and such cars are practically never found on the secondary market. Everything is also known about the features of the Wagon 1.8 DSi engines of the EA888 generation. There is no smell of super reliability here, the piston is strong, but coking of the piston group on engines until 2014 is not uncommon, the resource of the timing and phase shifters is no more than 130,000 km, and this is 15 to 20,000 for components, plus software failures. Well, the Mosloscher, alas, the realities, a lot of pain under warranty and especially without it was delivered by DSG. Any, 6 and 7 speed. And the disputes of mechanics, which is better, are endless. The newer one is better. Modernization did not solve all problems. But if you're lucky, at least 100,000 km before the death of mechatronics, later robots during jewelry operation and oil changes after each sharp acceleration can depart. AKP is more reliable. And if you solve the issue with an additional cooling circuit, then they are very reliable. They do not note any problems only with a manual transmission. Sore spots on the suspension are not noticed, as well as on the steering. The electric booster works exemplary, steering rods attract attention every 80,000 km. Ball and silent blocks can be changed separately, which reduces costs. And check the rear springs, put three strong men on the gallery, they say they sag over time. Otherwise, everything runs on the suspension for at least 50,000 km. Except, of course, consumables, stabilizer struts. It is worth checking the CV joints so that they do not chirp on an inverted steering wheel. The note is obviously bad. In operation, here you need to carefully monitor the integrity of the anthers, often the reason is in them. About a fair run will say crickets and wear and tear trim. And don't really believe the run on the tachometer, real numbers can be removed from all electronic hidden corners of the car. In general, an honest superb can be a good choice, if, of course, you correctly diagnose the engine and stay away from the robotic transmission. For the secondary DSG is not an option. The biggest problems were associated with DSG until 2011, the clutch kit here does not go beyond 40,000 km. Meanwhile, the price of the kit is about 15,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Plus work. This is if you do not need to repair the dual mass flywheel. But it's a real disaster if the differential brakes in the DSG, the seats of the rods wear out, the mechatronics solenoids and its wiring get dirty and worn out, and the sensors are covered with steel filings. Unstable idle on EA888 engines is not just a dirty throttle or old spark plugs. Often this is a pressure valve in the fuel rail, 2000 Ukrainian hryvni, or the vagaries of the injection pump, from 5000 Ukrainian hryvni. The motors take care of the warranty regularly. But do not believe the fairy tales at the service about the permissible oil consumption of 5 liters, from replacement to replacement. With TSI, you can't relax and let things take their course. Any little thing in the end can turn into a piston replacement. The front McPherson circuit with the bad road package handles our trails just fine. The A-pillar supports sag after 60,000 km. At the same stage, the rear suspension requires revision, sometimes with the replacement of the rear arm supports. On machines with a steel front subframe until 2009, squeaks of the rear silent blocks of the front levers are possible. The solution is quick and inexpensive. Anti-corrosion preparation is high, the machines do not rot, but the thickness and durability of the paintwork leave much to be desired. Chrome-plated exterior trim parts will have to be changed often. Special problems are localized in the multifunctional fifth door. Over time, the complex mechanism fails, the closure is incomplete, the electrics of the locks buggy, 
many consider it necessary to upgrade the soundproofing of the rear wheel arches, not the car's strongest asset. Sensor problems can be encountered under the hood. It is not uncommon for trouble with door wiring when the driver's door harness fails on brakes, window regulators and side airbags die. A broken wiring harness under the instrument panel can cause a complete failure of the car. Require control and power steering connector terminals.